Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 best fabric mods for Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition which is version 1.17.1 and for those of you who don't know Fabric is a mod loader and it allows us to use mods for Minecraft Java Edition and it's really cool because at the moment with the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1 Fabric actually has more mods available in its library compared to Forge so I would highly recommend that you download and check out Fabric if you already haven't done so and check out some of the mods that it does offer because some of the mods that are in this library are really cool and we're going to take a look at some of the top 5 best Fabric mods today for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1. Okay, so to start off with the really important mod that I would highly recommend you guys download and install for your fabric based installations is called Mod Menu. Now, Mod Menu gives us a button, so when we go into the main options, if I press Escape, you can see in the game menu I do have a button here that says Mods. If I was to go back into the main menu of the game, I also have a button here which says Mods, and when I click on the mods button here I am able to see all of the mods that I have got installed this is extremely useful because currently if you do install fabric you don't get this sort of button or any options to see what mods you've got installed for your fabric based installation so mod menu is really useful guys if you are installing and using fabric I would highly recommend that you install mod menu alongside it you can actually go into a specific mod click on the mod name here in mod menu and then click on this icon here to configure the different options for that mod so not only does mod menu display the current number of mods that you do have installed you can also configure its options all in one place so it's really useful if you haven't already got this mod i would highly recommend that you do install it in the number five spot we do have the fabric tree chopper and it's a really cool mod i would highly recommend that you guys check this one out because you can just equip an axe and go to a tree and when you start chopping it it actually chops down the entire tree and you can just collect the wood that comes off that so it's really useful if you guys don't want to spend all that time chopping down a tree this is really cool you can configure different options on it and you can go up to a tree and start chopping it and it will actually cut down the entire tree that you start chopping the block under it so if we start off with the bottom block it does chop the entire tree there you can actually go into the mod menu option there click on the fabric tree chopper click on the configure button here and we can choose the tree chop mode as well so as you guys can see i currently have the tree chop mode set to full chop and we can select it to say single chop or vanilla chop so let's reset this to single chop and what that does is that if i was to go and cut down a tree i would only get the one item from it it won't chop down the entire tree so as you guys can see it's just giving me the one item which is dropping there and ultimately it will actually take down the whole tree once it's done so this is different to the full chop mode which I showed you earlier. So some of you might prefer this mode and some of you might prefer the full chop mode. You can also go into the options again for this mod and you can choose the durability usage as well so as you guys can see currently it says break mid chop and it says it's only effective with the tree chop mode set to full chop and we can change that to no durability loss as well so when i select that and i chop down this tree i'm not going to suffer any durability on my items there so it's a really cool mod to check out if you guys are playing survival and you don't want to spend all that time chopping down a tree then i would highly recommend you check out the fabric tree chopper in the number four spot we do have iris shaders and iris shaders is a really cool shader loading mod where we can actually load shaders into the game and play with shaders so as you guys can see currently we do have the vanilla mode loaded here and this is what the standard game looks like for minecraft java edition but if i was to go into my options click on video settings you will see a button here for shader packs so i can click into this and as you guys can see shaders are enabled and i can actually select the psl shaders and apply them and it's going to completely change the game so as you guys can see it's already showing me what the game looks like if if I was to go back into the game we can see that I am actually now able to enjoy the game with shaders and as you guys can see the water looks really amazing the shadows look really amazing we do have the moving textures here as you guys can see and moving leaves on the trees there and we have some nice skybox effects going on you can see the clouds have completely changed so it completely changes the vanilla look of the game and makes it more pretty in my opinion and everything looks so much nicer and if your computers can 
handle this, I would highly recommend that you download Iris Shaders and check it out if you guys are on a fabric based system. It also comes bundled with Sodium and for those of you who don't know, Sodium is a performance based mod which gives us more frames per second. So if you guys are loading shaders into the game, especially powerful shaders like BSL shaders as I have loaded into the game right now, then the Sodium mod will help us achieve higher frame rates. For me personally, I am able to double my FPS that I am getting in the game with loading Iris shaders and the Sodium mod as well. So the good news is that if you guys are using Iris shaders, then the Sodium mod is going to be bundled with Iris shaders. So if you guys haven't already checked it out, then definitely check out Iris shaders. It's a really good alternative to Optifine. You can also download a fork for Iris shaders, which is called the Starline fork. And I have done a video about that, and I will leave a link in the description to that video, which will enable you to actually set the options for your shaders so you can actually change the shader options as well. So if you guys haven't already checked that one out, do make sure that you check that link out in the description. And if you guys are considering using shaders, then definitely check out Iris shaders. The third mod on the list that I am going to choose today is the Zeros world map. Now this is a really cool world map mod because you can just press M on your keyboard and it loads up the map and it's really fast and easy to use. It can also show your path which you have walked in and you can actually have a look at your waypoints. If you do combine this with the Zeros mini map mod, it does allow you to set waypoints and you can actually teleport to them as well. So do make sure that you install Zeros world map alongside Zero's minimap as well. Another cool thing to note about the world map is that you can actually zoom out completely and it shows you how large scale of the world map is. You can actually zoom in as well and I can actually drag as you guys can see I'm dragging the map around and you can actually see all the little details here so you can actually see I am in a village here and it's really cool. If you guys are looking for a world map mod I would highly recommend that you download and install Zero's world map alongside the Zero's minimap mod as well and use them both it's going to give you a really nice rpg type experience and you can have waypoints as well and you can see where you are in the world as well it's really cool it's really good for exploration as well and it really helps you navigate through the minecraft world which is really big at the moment so i would highly recommend that you guys check out zero's world map in the number two spot we do have the next mod which is called roughly enough items or rei for short and roughly enough items is a really cool mod when i press e on my keyboard it loads up the crafting menu and as you guys can see on the right hand side here i do have all of the blocks which i can choose and all of the items in the minecraft game and i can actually click on an item and it will show me the recipe on how to craft that so it's a really useful mod i would highly recommend that you guys check this one out it's a really useful mod it does show you how to craft stuff and how to make items in the minecraft game so for example, if I was to click on this bed, it will show me basically how to make a bed and what recipes and what items I would need. And it's really useful because it does tell me that I need to use a crafting table and I need three pieces of all and three planks to make a bed. Another cool thing is that you can actually search in the search bar for an item. So if I was to type in an axe and hit enter, then you would see it does show me the axes as well over here, which I can click on and it will show me how to make the axe. Another cool feature if you guys are playing with cheats enabled is to actually click on the config icon here and actually enable the cheats as you guys can see and I'm going to click on save and quit now when I click on an item I can actually select that item and drag it into my inventory bar there and I can actually use that item we're using the cheat so you don't have to actually go into the main menu over here and search for an item you can just use the roughly enough items selection screen over here and it's really handy because we can search for any item using the search bar at the bottom here or we can just navigate through these pages here and have a look at an item and its icon to quickly choose an item if we wanted to use that item and we can actually go ahead and disable the cheats and if i click on another item as i showed you guys earlier it will show me how to make that item and show me the recipe for that item so if you guys are looking for a easy way to create items and look at their recipes or to help you if you are a new player then i would highly recommend that you download and install the roughly enough items rei mod for fabric and in my number one spot for the top five best 
Minecraft, Java, Fabric mods, I am going to select WTHIT, which stands for what the hell is that? And it's really useful because if you guys are looking at an item which you don't know or are not sure about, it will show you basically what kind of item that is. And for new players, this is extremely useful because you can actually learn about the game using this mod as well. Another useful thing is that it actually gives you the HP of all the living things in this game. Or any of the mobs that we do encounter and you can see on the top there is showing me the number of hearts for that cow or any other npc that i am able to go next to you do have to get up close to them but it does show you their hp as you guys can see and if i was to attack this villager you can see that the hearts at the bottom there they do show that it has gone down and it shows me how much hp that villager has and how much hp they've got left and how much I need to attack them in order to kill them basically. So it's a really useful mod to show you information about an item and information about other animals or mobs or NPCs in the game. We can actually go and configure a few things for this mod. So if I was to go into the mod menu section, I can click on the WTHIT link here and I can click on the configure icon over here go into the settings and I can actually choose not to display the tooltip if I wanted to do that and other things as well in the general section we can actually go into the overlay section and I can actually increase the scale so I can actually make it bigger by changing the scale so I've changed it from 1.0 to 2.0 I'm actually going to change the location as well we can also change the x and y position so obviously the x position is going to change it from left to right and the y position is going to change it from top to bottom so I can actually enter a figure here so let's insert 75 and hit done and as you guys can see it now changes the position of the mod to show the tooltip at the bottom there and because I increased the size from 1.0 to 2.0 it has made everything much bigger if I was to go into the WTHIT settings and click on overlay I can actually change this to 0.5 and make it smaller let's change the position back to where it was and let's have a look at what it looks like now. So as you guys can see, it has changed it to a much smaller size. So some of you might prefer to use this size of the mod and it's not going to interfere in your Minecraft game that much. It's a really cool mod because it does show you loads of different information about the items in the game and as a new player you will be able to learn more about the game by installing this mod because it will show you what each of the item is and another way to actually see what kind of item you are looking at is to press the F3 button on your keyboard and as you guys can see in the bottom right there it does say targeted block and it does show me Minecraft grass block but it is annoying to use the debug console all the time so by default whenever you wanted to see an item you would have to press the f3 key and then see the item and read what that is so you can see it says targeted block minecraft sand so we know that's a sand block however if i just have the mod installed then i have decreased the size and it's showing the top there on my screen i'm looking at this block so i can immediately see that this is a sand block so it's really useful i would highly recommend that if you are a new player or even if you are an experienced player this mod would be useful so i'm just going to quickly show you guys how to actually install all of these mods really quickly using two minecraft launchers which i like to use and i'll show you guys how to set it up Alright, so the first launcher that I like to use is called the CurseForge launcher and some of you might have actually heard about CurseForge because chances are that you will end up downloading mods from the CurseForge website and the good news is that they have their own launcher so you can go ahead and install the CurseForge launcher and to install the mods it's really easy. All I do is click on create custom profile and I'm going to click on the type and I'm going to select fabric and make sure that it is showing the latest version of fabric in the drop down list and Minecraft version it is showing the latest release which is 1.17.1 I'm going to name this profile fabric 1.17.1 and hit create and as you guys can see it's created a fabric profile that I just named fabric 1.17.1 I'm going to right click on this profile and select view profile and it's actually showing me that it's already installed fabric API which is a required file for installing these mods if you guys are installing these mods manually do make sure that you install the fabric API mod as well and obviously I will leave a link in the description below for the fabric API mod as well and to install mods into this fabric 1.17.1 installation I'm going to click on add more content 
end and now I can actually go ahead and choose any one of these mods to install so I can actually go ahead and click on install for a zero's minimap or Nata's compass or clumps and it's going to one click install all of them and I can go back into my fabric 1.17.1 installation and I can see it says here install mods and it's going to show me all of the mods I've got installed and I can actually click on play and start playing the game and enjoy all of these mods it's that simple Another launcher that I do like to use is called GD Launcher and again I have done a video about this which I will leave in the description below and it's really easy to use this launcher. All you have to do is load up the launcher, click on this plus icon over here. I'm going to create a fabric based installation so I'm going to select a version, choose fabric, choose releases, select 1.17.1, choose the latest release and hit this arrow key here. It's gonna name it Minecraft Fabric, that's fine. I'm gonna click the arrow key and it's gonna actually create a installation for Fabric. So let's wait for that. And as you guys can see, it's actually finished the installation and now I can actually click on this to start playing it, but we do need to add mods. So I'm gonna right click on the installation, click on manage, click on mods, and I'm gonna click on add mod. And the first mod we're gonna install is called Fabric API. And we're gonna click on install for that one. I can actually search for mods here. So let's search for a mod menu and as you guys can see it says mod menu here I'm going to install that as well and we can go ahead and install other mods as well so I can choose clumps so I can choose nature's compass and I can choose a zero's minimap as well and as you guys can see it's now installed those mods I can click on the cross here go back and as you guys can see in the mod section it is showing me all of the mods I do have installed I can close this down and I can then click on play and it will load up the game and I can enjoy those mods within GD launcher I will leave a link in the description for for CurseForge Launcher and the GD Launcher client as well and in my videos I do go into detail on how to install these custom launchers and how to configure them. The other alternative to install mods is really simple you just go into the CurseForge website download the jar files place them into your mods folder and you can begin playing the game that way if you don't want to use the launchers. I will leave a link in the description for all of the mods that I have showed today and you guys can just click on those links download the individual mod files if you choose to use them or you can go ahead and use the CurseForge launcher or the GT launcher client as well so it's all up to you guys hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and do leave a comment below on what is your favorite mod if you guys think that I should actually check out a mod myself then do leave them in the comment section below and let everyone know what kind of mods that you guys like to play with please also subscribe to this video to help support the channel and help it grow and I will see you guys next time thank you for watching.